Hey you guys, it's Nick here. It's kind of late, but I'm learning to program. I've been reading this book recommended by my buddy, uh, my, my smart buddy, Trevor. He recommended I learn how to program because I'm asking too many dang questions about programming and I think I just need to figure it out. Uh, primarily, some of the projects I'm trying to do are based on Python uh, languages. Uh, and so I, I figured I, I need to learn how to program eventually, at least know the basics of it so I could talk to other programmers. So, uh, uh, so I'm reading this book. It's called Learn to Program, second edition by Chris Pine. Now this is based on Ruby, uh, but I was told that the, if you know enough Ruby, you can kind of translate it over to Python. Maybe that's BS, but uh, I'm going to learn anyway. So far I've, uh, I've been going through a lot of the examples here, learning how to set variables and change variables and do all that stuff. Well, one of the other reasons I'm learning to code is I have, I've, I set myself a kind of a personal project, uh, personal project, which is I want to learn enough code to rebuild, click that button by myself. So speaking of Trevor, Trevor helped me build the original click that button.com. It's still going. It's got 60 million clicks. Go check this stupid red button out. Well, I figured my project, to learn how to program will be to recode that site and figure out uh, all the code I need and all the database and all the iteration and all the systems I need to get that site up and running by myself. Of course, I'm going to ask a billion questions, but uh, I want to hand code this thing. Uh, so I figured after reading this last chapter here about uh, some math and some arrays and all this stuff that I would give it a shot. I thought I knew enough to build my first version of click that button in Ruby and it found out that I did it and I did know enough and it was really pretty simple so I wanted to show you guys. Uh, so here are some programs I've been working on. This is the one that uh, that he gives he gives you as an as an example of what to build and it's uh, to make a little program that um, has a kind of a grandma character yell back at you um, until you say the right words. And that one's working. I have a hello script, which is just uh, based on some of his examples here. But this is what uh, this is what kind of just came out of me, and it's really simple. Uh, but I got really excited about it be because it uh, it's essentially click that button version zero zero one. You know, uh, so here it is. It says assign a variable number, make it equal to one. Now I may screw up some of the language here, but this is how I'm understanding it. Then I start a loop that says while true, which is basically forever, uh, put the number on the screen. So it's gonna put the number which starts as one on the screen here. Um, and then it's gonna say gets. And what's gets gonna do, maybe there's a better way to do this, but this is my little way version of doing this. What gets is doing is it's putting a command on on the on the kind of terminal here to wait for a wait to, to basically wait for keys to be pressed. And if I don't press any keys and I just hit, hit enter, it's going to register that as part of the loop, which is kind of my uh, button clicking. It's basically my way of clicking the button. And then it finishes the loop by saying, take the number, which started off as one, and then take, take that number and, and, and add one to it. And then end the loop, and which means it's just going to go back up to the top. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to add one plus one, and it's going to say two, and then it's going to come back up to the top of this loop, and it's going to say while true, um, blah blah blah, and it's going to do the whole thing again. It's going to start as two. We're going to add one to it. It's going to go three. So if we go into the terminal here, and uh, we type, let's see, Ruby, click, dot, rb. That starts the program. So there you go. It says one. I'm gonna hit the enter key. Boom. Two, three, four, five. Every time I hit the enter key, it's gonna um, add one more number to it. And if I hit it really fast, if I hit uh, keys on the keyboard, that's where it gets a little screwy because I could just type whatever I want into it. It's gonna add a number. But if I just hit enter without really doing anything, uh, it's gonna iterate that number basically forever. And if I hold down enter, it's gonna do that. So that's basically click that button. That's the simplest version I think um, that I've been able to code kind of by hand I guess if you could call it if you could call it that um, and that's kind of like I said step zero one. So from here 
What I'd like to do is learn some of the database stuff. How do I tie this into a website? How do I get a database that is backed up? How do I, how do I differentiate between each person's clicks and the overall global clicks? Um, and again, this is a project um, to, to learn the programming. And uh, I figured click that button would be a perfect way, kind of a silly project to relearn and figure this stuff out. Uh, and hopefully uh, I'll put some more videos up here as I get going. So I have some really kind of crazy ideas for what this could eventually be. I wanna learn how to code physical buttons like through an Arduino or something that will eventually click a button on a website. Uh, and all these ideas are ways of just learning some of the technology. I feel like uh, I, I know the you know the 3D stuff I know and I know uh, all these things because I sat down and screwed around with it for, for days. And uh, right now I have the programming bug. We'll see how long that lasts. So far so good and uh, hopefully get another video. Anyway, uh, I gotta learn more. I'll see you guys in, a, in another video maybe if I figure more stuff out. Meanwhile, uh, keep uh, learning stuff. Bye everybody.